Sri Guru Namaha. Welcome to our online teaching academy, Ekalaiva. In the lesson Natural Disasters, today we are going to learn about by looking, by seeing, seeing the pictures, you can know about what is the topic we are going to learn today. See, as completely filled with the waters. Okay, when the water level is being normal, we cannot say it is a flood. When it is crosses, okay, above the level, we can we can call in the name of flood. Okay, flood. In most places in our country, it rains heavily during the monsoon seasons. So, in general, in general, every year we will have a season, okay, seasonal rainfall. So, even at the time also used to face the problem of flood, okay. That is, so much water in the rivers that in many of them, the water level rises above the bank. What will happen? The water flows into nearby land. Then, we can call okay it's a flood also from the normal level the water level raises what will happen the extra waters which is filled uh, uh, stored in the bank no is completely flow out and occupy the places which is which are very nearer so that uh, water we can call in the name of flood So, natural disasters means it will destroy the things which are very near or no. So, when flood comes, what are the damages will cause us by the flood? It damages us first crops. As we know very well, crops are very important. Without that, we cannot take our food, isn't it? We are mainly depend on food as well as air, no? Likewise, even food are also very important. When flood comes, it destroys the first part of crops and houses, roads and all the properties. Like an earthquake, even flood also will destroy the, these other things. So next, what is the problem we have, we will face after the flood also, no? Water supply, we will not get a drinking water, enough drink, you cannot get a enough drinking water. Then communication network, water supply, communication networks, and electric lines, power supply completely shut off when the flood comes also. So by this way, the flood also damages all these properties and affecting us by the not getting enough water and communication purpose get completely collapsed, electric lines get off. There is a shortage of food. Not only these are the problems, even food is also become very difficult to get it. So, it is shortage of food and shelter, drinking waters. See, what are the changes it brings? It collapses the houses, roads, properties, water supply, communication, network, electric lines get affected and most important for us to live is water and food. No, that also could not get by the floods. Food, shelter and drinking water so these so apart from these it leads to the water until the water get uh, dry or move away from the place no what will happen by the flooding water no unhygienic condition will be present over there so due to that uncondition unhygienic condition uh, there is a possibilities to get a waterborne diseases like cholera and malaria. So these are the changes will cause us, will occur by the floods. So next uh, natural disaster which we are going to face, always we are facing early ones, okay. Recently also we had faced by these uh, cyclones. Cyclones also will bring the changes in the, uh, in the life. Cyclones. What is cyclone? No, a cyclone is a very strong wind. It's accompanied with a very heavy rains. Wind, very strong wind and a strong rain together, a cyclone will form. Okay, what is a cyclone? A cyclone is a very strong wind along with strong wind accompanied with a heavy rains. This is all, this is called as cyclones. So, where the cyclone will cause nearly no, always near the coastal areas. So, flooding is often caused by cyclones, okay. So, flood will cause by cyclones, nearly who will affect no, the people who are living near the coastal areas. So, the strong wind causes distraction 
on land and highways in the sea it causes flooding as we know cyclone is completely accompanied with a strong wind and heavy rain so here uh, that uh, wind causes changes on the land that wave from the sea, sea causes a uh, brings a very heavy flooding by the way cyclone also will affect the people living on the earth so next natural disaster is facing by us no tidal waves we can call the tsunami also one of the tidal waves tidal or storm waves also known as tsunami tsunami will cause the undersea earthquake we can call the tsunami is the undersea earthquake or by severe cyclone so this tidal wave can also called as a tsunami that tsunami will occur in the undersea no so you can call it is also a severe cyclone so what it will do storm waves from the sea actually it is occurring in the sea no so that waves from the sea come rolling towards the shore so from the deep sea it, it will affect the shore they strike suddenly and cause great damage and uh, within a second it will bring the changes when the natural disaster one of the natural disaster of tidal wave causes it brings the changes on the earth within a time we can okay uh, within a one one minute also it can bring the changes immediately by the sea show so this is how the it can uh, from um, near the 15 meter height also the tidal waves will caused by the sea so next changes so far we have seen about the natural disasters faced by the rain water or cyclones now the next topic is drought it's quite opposite to the the remaining topic which we discussed about cyclone flood drought if it means no rain no water so by this way also a natural can destroy the lives on the earth if a particular area receives no rain le or less rain from the normal line for a long period we can call that is the drought okay no rain or less rain we can call that is drought however it is not only the lack of rainfall so does not mean no rain or less rain alone we can call it is a name of a drought so then what is the reason no hot dry winds also the another reason hot dry winds or high temperature and evaporation of moisture so these are also the one of the reasons of causing of drought natural disaster so from what will happen from the ground can result in drought so the already no rain or very less rain that also can be evaporated by the high temperature and in the air also no moisture the wind is so hot so all these are the together a reason for the natural disaster of drought so this is how the condition of a drought the land will be there so we can call the, so the place will look like this when there is no rain or less rain also so what is the effect no drought causes crop failure which means the plant cannot grow over there in that part time uh, in this type of place sure the plant cannot grow so we can call the name is famine so what have to do people also has to live over there the people who are living they they seek the help of other people uh, they how do they seek the help no whether the help will come in the form of food water or medicines from the neighboring place or the agency people used to live okay although they, they also need a food water and help no so they will the people who are living nearer their places they used to uh, wait they have to wait for a help in the form of food water or medicines even in our india india also had faced this natural disaster of drought in the year of 1904 to 5 1965 to 66 and 1986 to 87 in the year 1987 india has given the name draft of the century so which means 
uh, with the rainfall we had a problem without rainfall also had a problem that is draft so that the year 1987 made a biggest impact major impact on one side of the country which means economically and uh, very drastic changes had happened people could not able to lead their life in the year of 1987 when this disaster of the um, draft as faced by by the, our country india so that 1987 had given a name called draft of the century so these are the natural disasters will affect all the world so it should not happen means we should protect our, uh, from the global warming by planting a tree so avoid deforestation instead of it keep the afar station keep follow this children thank you we'll see you on the next video to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you